Chris, they're going to draw Crocs. Yeah, with uh, shoes or sandals, whatever they are. Yeah. I hope you're going to follow along. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're using a pencil first, and then we're going to use our marker. You ready to start? Yes. Sometimes I really like starting with a pencil so that we can get the shapes just right before we use our marker. And you can actually use this technique in all of our videos. You can first start with a pencil, draw the whole thing, get it just the way you want it, and then use a marker. We're just going to draw one croc. We're going to start with our pencil down here, and we're going to draw the bottom of our shoe. I, I really don't know if it's a shoe or a sandal, but... It's both. <laughs> it's both, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like a spork. <laughs> it's both a spoon and a fork. We're going <laughs> to... We're drawing a straight line. We don't want to leave a little space. Oh, we also have our paper horizontal so that we have room for the whole shoe. Then we're going to draw it curving up in the front. We're going to draw the front of our shoe over here. We don't want to curve it up too much, just a little. And then we're also curving it up over the heel or behind the heel. Yeah. I like that you drew it twice, and then you can erase the line that you don't want to keep. Then let's draw the back of our shoe coming up and also leaning forward. So I'm going to redraw that and lean it forward just a little more. And then the front of the shoe will do the same. We're going to lean it back, so curving towards the top right. And these are very similar lines. If you ever need extra time to get your lines just right, you can always pause the video for more time. Now let's curve the front of our shoe for the toe. And we'll match this coming down similar to the bottom. And then we're going to curve up. <laughs> I love the shape of these things. <laughs> and this is right in the middle of our shoe. So this where it curves up right here, we're going to try to line it up with the middle of the sole. Yeah, that's awesome. And then we're going to curve all the way down to the back of our sandal or shoe. So this has a more of a corner right here. This is how you can tell it's the back. There's a corner right here. And then we have the big curve for the front where our toes go. Now let's use our eyes to measure and we're going to split this curve right in half. So I think there is a good spot. And we're going to draw a circle right inside the shoe at that mark. This is for the Crocs logo, the Crocodile logo. Yeah. And then let's draw the strap that's coming back. And we're going to draw two lines. So one here. And then we're going to draw another one right here. I'm actually, I'm going to tip these more. So I'm going to erase these two lines and then redraw it. I'm going to do what you just did and draw these more coming back. And then right here, we can extend, see this line? We're yeah. going to extend that going up and connecting those two. So it looks like it goes together. So this line right here will extend and then go through those two lines. So right here. Right. Yes. Yes. There you go. Like that? Yeah, that works. And then in front, we're going to curve around and match the logo. And let's actually, let's go a little bit further around like this, and then we'll connect back in. So it's a little bit bigger than the two lines that we drew, and then we can erase all those extra lines. Then let's also erase the line that's going through the strap. Now that we have the main shape of our croc, we're going to add some of the details. Let's start on the heel, and we're going to draw a curve that goes through the bottom of the strap right here. We can even just keep drawing through it. And then we're going to curve down, and then we're going to curve closer to the bottom and then up to match the toe line. So it kind of looks like a wave. So we start high, go through the strap, and then curve down. Then we're going to draw another line right here underneath, really close to the bottom. And then when we get to here, we're going to curve up. There's an arch right here for your foot. And then it curves back down. And then we're going to keep going to the back of the heel. 
Then right here on the heel, let's draw this curving up higher and then connecting back down to the, to the back. So it gets really thick or a lot thicker when it's right behind your foot. And then we're going to do the same thing at the bottom and then connect back in. Then let's erase the first line on the top and the bottom. And then also we can erase that wave line that we drew right through the circle too. Now let's draw the detail on the strap. We're going to follow the line down. We're going to come forward. We're going to get close to the circle. Then we're going to curve back around and match the bottom. That was tricky. So if you need to pause the video so you can take extra time to get this just the way that you want it. Now let's draw a line here and match the top of the shoe and we'll stop at the strap. Now let's draw all the cool holes that kind of make it a sandal. We're going to draw a little one right here at the front. And we're going to try to fit three more in there. And let's draw the last one. We're going to skip and go all the way back here. We're going to come up, over, and then back down. Almost a square shape. Then let's leave some space and we'll add another one right here. And then one more, and then this one I, I'm going to draw smaller or more squished to make it look more 3D, like it's wrapping around our foot. Then on the very top of the shoe where our toes are, there's circle holes. So this one is really squished. We're going to draw a really squished circle on the very tip of our toe. And then we'll leave a little space and we're going to draw another one right next to it. And I'm also changing the direction. See how it's curving going this way. Then we're going to add a little space and add another one. This one's taller or not as squished. And then this one right here is right above this last little square hole here. And it's almost a circle. Then let's draw three more really squished ones. These are more on top of our foot, so they're really flat because they're 3D. So I'm going to draw here, second one here, and then the third one that's up a lot higher right there. We did it, Hadley. We're finished using our pencil. This is just for all of the main guidelines. Now let's switch to our marker. We're going to trace over the pencil lines. Let's start by drawing the outside shape of our entire shoe or sandal. Also back here on the strap, I added a little bump on the outside, on the top and also the bottom. Now let's trace over these holes. We're going to trace over the top and then also the bottom. And then I'm tracing over the circle holes up higher too. Next, let's add tread to the bottom. I'm going to add little upside down V's that are so small it just looks like a triangle. And we're going to go all the way back to the arch right here in the middle of the shoe. And then I'm going to leave some space and we're going to jump over here and add those little triangle shapes back here too. Hadley, you're doing such a good job and it really looks like a croc. <laughs> this is super fun. I love these things. <laughs> I also love that you guys add croc pins to the holes. It makes them look even more cool. Yeah. <laughs> Let's now draw or trace over the circle that's on the strap. Let's just add a basic shape of the crocodile right here. So I'm going to add a diagonal line that comes across. His little claws are hanging over that line, but we'll just leave it like that. Then we're going to draw the nose. Oh, this is going to be challenging. I'm just going to draw. <laughs> A curve that comes up and then back down. It kind of looks like a Christmas tree. Uh, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I'm just going to color in the top and also the bottom. And you got this funny shape in the middle. But we could also draw a little eye if you want. And then the smile. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a ghost. Yeah, a little bit. Let's add one more detail with our marker. We're going to add the other side the holes on the other side of the shoe that you can see through this one. So we'll add a little triangle shape on the middle one. 
Then we're gonna add another triangle shape on the last one. And that's it. Now we're ready to switch to our colors. What color are you gonna use for your croc? I'm gonna use pink. Okay, and then I think I'll use blue for mine. We're using our markers to color with, but you can use whatever you have. You could use color pencils or even crayons. Now, the first thing we'll do is color our croc completely blue or pink, whatever color you chose. And also with the pencil that we still have on our drawing, we wanna be careful because the pencil will smear with the markers. If you're using something else, it probably won't smear. But we wanna leave the pencil on there so that we have these guidelines to add more details with darker colors. All right, this part will speed up, so remember to pause the video for more time to color your drawing. Then we're using a darker color for the inside of the crock. Yeah, and then you could also add that there and also on the other holes and these ones up here too. Now let's use our darker blue or dark pink to add more shading and shadows on the rest of our sandal. So we're gonna trace over the pencil line here that you can still see. And then if you want, you could also add a shadow that's underneath the strap too. And then let's also trace over the pencil line here. And then let's also trace over the pencil line on the top going through the strap. And then we could also add, if you have room, you could add another one right next to it that matches. Next, let's color in the tread and also this arch shape right here. So we'll color below the pencil line. We can also add another shadow line coming back on the heel. And this next part is really tricky, but still really fun. We're gonna add little dots for the texture. I'm gonna just draw a line of dots right underneath that pencil line that we first drew. And then I'm gonna do it again and maybe two more times after that so that we have a bunch of dot textures underneath or going across the top of our shoe. Then let's add that dot texture going forward towards the toes and then we're gonna go and line it up above the side holes. And then you can also add another row of these dots right below it until you fill in this shape. And then last, you can add the dots back here on the heel. Hadley, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our Crocs. I especially love yours. Thank you, I like yours too. <laughs> Thanks. And you guys can pause the video if you need extra time to color. Yeah, you can even change your Crocs. You could color them differently. Maybe they're uh, crazy colors or, oh, they have those Shrek ones too where the, it's got the nose or, or the ear thing sticking out. The horns. The horns. <laughs> This lesson felt more advanced, and that's because we used the pencil at the very beginning to get the shapes just the way that we want it, and then we could use the marker on top. And I also love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They both turn out awesome. That's because the most important thing is- To have fun. Yeah, and to- Practice. Practice. Remember to have fun and practice, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.